Hey Internet, in this Anatomy Bites, we take a look at the rotator cuff. Hey, so welcome back to another Anatomy Bites. In this one, I want to take a look at the rotator cuff, specifically the muscles that make up the rotator cuff. Now, to begin with, the rotator cuff is important in shoulder movements. It's, uh, you know, I've got the picture there of the guy pitching, ba -dum -bum, and it is very important in that motion. So it's very important in shoulder movements. It's involved in stabilization of the shoulder joint. It's going to come from the scapula and connect into the head of the humerus. So when we're taking a look at the four different muscles, understand that they all come from different parts of the scapula and they all connect to the humerus. Now, the different parts that they connect to we'll cover in just a second. The other important thing to know about the rotator cuff muscles is that they hold the head of the humerus to the glenoid fossa of the scapula. So let me show you really quick as I zip back here pluck a model off my shelf okay so we have ooh, there's the camera we have the show yes i just happen to have these hanging around my house and they haven't been dusted in a while but this is the shoulder joint okay where this is the glenoid fossa of the scapula which is in here and so the rotator cuff muscles are coming off of the scapula and they're going to connect into the humerus and they help stabilize the humerus they help stabilize that shoulder joint okay so let's take a look at the actual muscles and there is a quick mnemonic before we begin it's called sits s-i-t-s and sits stands for supraspinatus infraspinatus teres minor and subscapularis now before we get going too much further one of the questions that always shows up on an exam when you're looking at the rotator cuff muscles is which of the following is not a rotator cuff muscles teres major is not one of the muscles it's teres minor so let's start looking at the first one which is the supraspinatus the supraspinatus comes from the supraspinatus fossa of the scapula and you can see here is a picture of the scapula and you can see the supraspinatus fossa of Mufasa of the scapula okay so here's our little uh, model and the supraspinatus is up here at the topmost portion superiormost portion of the scapula so that's the supraspinatus fossa of the scapula it's going to insert into the greater tubercle of the humerus the action, by the way, you might hear some background noise. The kids are home for Thanksgiving vacation. The action of the supraspinatus is it's going to stabilize the joint. It's going to assist the deltoids. And we have a separate video on deltoids. That's the muscle that makes up the kind of pad on your shoulder. It assists the deltoids in abducting the arm. Abduct, abduct. It means to pull away from the center, okay? So if you're abducted, you're taken away. So it helps in abducting abducting the arm and the nerve is the suprascapular nerve the next muscle we want to take a look at is the infraspinatus and the infraspinatus is going to come from the infraspinatus fossa of the scapula so again looking at it from a posterior point of view this is the infraspinatus fossa by the way if you didn't get the mufasa reference earlier it's from a uh, um lion king anyhow uh, so the origin is the infraspinatus fossa of the scapula. It's going to insert into the greater tubercle of the humerus. And we have a picture here of the uh, superior portion of the humerus. And you can see the greater tubercle of that humerus. The action is also going to be stabilized the joint. It's going to rotate the arm laterally. And it's going to adduct the arm. It's going to help pull the arm in. And the nerve is also the uh, suprascapular nerve. The next muscle is the teres minor, and this one is coming from the inferior lateral border of the scapula. And you can see a picture there of the inferior lateral border of the scapula. It's going to insert into the greater tubercle of the humerus. Its action is going to be it stabilizes the joint. Okay, ditto. Rotates the arm laterally, extends and adducts the arm now rotating laterally is this way okay rotating laterally is out rotating medially is in in fact if you ever get a rotator cuff injury one of the physical therapy exercises is you get a very very small weight you lay on your side and you just bring your arm back and forth like this the nerve is the axilla nerve or excuse me axillary nerve that's the armpit nerve finally we have the subscapularis 
Now, the subscapularis is coming from the subscapular fossa of the scapula. It's going to insert into the lesser tubercle of the humerus and the subscapular fossa. Okay, so far we've looked at stuff from the posterior point of view. On the anterior point of view, you have this big indentation here, this big um, flat area, this big fossa, and this would be the subscapular fossa of the scapula. And it's going to insert into the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Its action is it's going to stabilize the joint, it's going to rotate the arm medially, and its nerve is the upper and lower subscapular nerve. Now, really quick, whenever we talk about origins and insertions, Depending on your book, they might label it differently. Now, we're not talking about if I'm saying it's coming off of the, the, uh, you know, the this portion of the scapula or this portion of the humerus or whatever. Some books will word it a little differently, especially like when we talk about the deltoid. I talk about the lateral third of the clavicle. Some books will mark it differently. It's all basically the same thing. It's just different wording depending on your author. But we all agree where these muscles come from. All right, so that's going to conclude our look at the rotator cuff muscles. Be sure to check me out on social media. Also, if you haven't seen the other videos, I am currently running. This is uh, November 2015. I'm currently running for a state seat out here in Texas, District 127. So if you'd like to check that out, be sure to check out the social media down below. I've got links to my you know, Facebook page, my Twitter page, as well as my website. Your support means everything in trying to get somebody with some common sense into a public office. So until later, have fun studying out there, and goodbye for now.